Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Dunwich Draft and Die. Uh, we are playing with Rex and Nathaniel. Uh, we made some mistakes last round that led to Rex's unfortunate uh, taking of a mental trauma or of a physical trauma. But uh, beyond that, we had a pretty successful run, and I think we're actually pretty okay with uh, what all happened. We managed to save the students from the experiment, didn't get Warren Rice, and aren't going to get Francis Morgan most likely. But I think all in all, this is probably a pretty successful attempt. And so far, this party's looking very strong despite the initial trauma. So let's hit that build all button, add our new upgraded decks back in. And we'll do a little shuffling and drawing cards as such. Uh, also notably, I have changed things around once again. Reckless is not going in, and Disc of Somna is not strong here because we're going to be basically like drawing mobsters, which uh, I guess we could actually like play Disc of Somna basically any time and not be too upset about it, so that could be okay. Now well, let's think about this a little bit. Working at a hunch is pretty cool because we can discover clues at our location, but it's not going to be very strong in the very start. Uh, basically anything that discovers clues for us is not going to be very strong in the very start. We just can't get a lot of clues in the very, very start of this setup. Um, so cards like Disc might actually be better to set up early, and cards like I've Got a Plan might be better to stockpile, depending. Uh, I've Got a Plan is neat. I think it's okay, but we aren't going to be able to use it for a while, so I'm probably just going to draw three cards here. Uh, looks like we got Art Student, Burning Midnight Oil, and uh, another Disc. Okay, well, we've got two Discs, which is kind of cute. Uh, everything else gets shuffled back in. All right, and changing colors... We have uh, removed hide hand privileges, so finally fixed that general issue that we've been having where basically just nothing is quite working the way that we want it to. All right, so or we can't always see what our opponents, our allies are drawing. Uh, okay, so what's up with Nathaniel? He's got Brother Xavier, he's got a Monster Slayer, a get over here and a clean them out. This is actually a really good hand for Nathaniel overall. Like, he's got a strong option for a weapon. Uh, the main thing we really, really need, I think, is we definitely want boxing gloves more than we even want any sort of, like, way to fight monsters. Because I think pretty early on we're just going to be dealing with, like, rats and stuff. So establishing resources and establishing permanence is going to be more important to Nathaniel. So, uh, did I shuffle these? I'm sure I did, yeah. Draw, draw. Okay, not great, but uh, hopefully we'll draw boxing gloves somewhere along the lines. Uh, regardless, one, two, three, four, five, and one damage. And let's go ahead and do the little review. So, uh, we don't need to read this part, but, I mean, it's short. Dr. Armitage suggested you track down his associate, Dr. Francis Morgan. He's not sure whether Dr. Morgan is in trouble, but he's not particularly happy with colleagues' present choice of company. He's in the Clover Club, a notorious gambling joint somewhere downtown. Finding the club's exact location isn't easy. You have to grease a few palms just to learn which of the downtown restaurants operates as the club's front. That restaurant is La Bella Luna, a somewhat upscale Italian eatery by the theater. Change into your Sunday best and make your way there. In front of La Bella Luna stands a man in a pinstripe suit who sizes you up as you approach. Enjoy yourselves, he says with a snake-like grin as he holds open the restaurant door. All right, so uh, looking at who wants to go first, I'd say that Nathaniel wants to be moving into, let's see, pray his highest book, so... If they go after Rex, uh, that means that Nathaniel can like move to some other spot and then do something like gambling or just anything that he feels like. We could also like move to another spot, play Brother Xavier, and then be ready to do other things as well. So why don't we just have Nathaniel like take the lead? Uh, actually, no, I think we will have Rex take the lead since Rex is going to be staying here, and we need to know if Rex is going to actually pick up both of these clues. Uh, first things first, we investigate. Do we just investigate four against two? By burning the midnight oil, I gain two resources, and then there's a negative three, but if we fail, we discard three resources. So uh, we would like to succeed by at least three, and Art Student is probably fine to pitch at that if we need to. Or we could pitch Forbidden Knowledge, since we uh, maybe don't need Forbidden Knowledge right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go with burning the midnight oil, and yeah, we'll pitch Art Student. That seems right. Okay, so seven pitching Art Student means we get... Uh, six, seven against four, wait, four, five against two. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, and we want to succeed by as much as we can. Anything we can commit from Nate here? Evidence if we want to. Um, it's worth two books, which is pretty likely to get us the clue for the action, but I also don't think that Rex is particularly worried about this. Let's hit the chaos bag. Zero succeeds by two or more, which means Rex picks up both clues. One and two. Uh, second and third actions are Disc of its Somna and Forbidden Knowledge, because we actually want the Clover Club Pit Boss to walk up into La Bella Luna. All right. Nate, 
Hi. You're going to move into the Clover Club Lounge. After the lounge is revealed, put the set aside Clover Club stage into play. Yay, this is my first time ever seeing the stage. I've never uh, I've never actually been here. So pull that out of the set of sides. It's connected to the Clover Club stage and possibly to the bar. It's a circle and a square. So let's see here. Yep. Looks like it hooks up right there. Connected to the stage. Connected to the bar. Although I guess you can probably only get uh, into the heart to the square. Square does not connect to the heart, so this actually needs to be one way. Good to know. All right. Miller's Act 1, Clover Club stage gains. Spend a resource, place that resource on Clover Club stage. If there are one times investigator clues on the Clover Club stage, gain one times investigator clues from the token pool. Group limit once per game. Okay. So if we tip two times, we get two clues. That seems great. How many do we need? We need four times the number of investigators, so we need eight clues in total, but that's like a pretty useful uh, spending of resources overall. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Uh, so two resources, uh, we've got one, two, and then third action, tip the waitress. All right, that's our first three actions from Nate. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, go to the enemy phase. Enemy phase, Clover Club Pit Boss moves up towards La Bella Luna. Music is cliche and the only sir spaghetti. <laughs> uh, okay, and then from there, we have to go to upkeep, resource and a card, flashlight, resource and a card, teamwork. Look how easy that is. I'm super happy about that. Thanks to the kind YouTube commenter who left that tip. Uh, okay, so... We've got teamwork, which is kind of neat, especially if we like give Brother Xavier to Rex to assemble more friends. We do have charisma on Nathaniel, which is awesome. So, okay. So um, from there, we go to Mythos. Doom goes to one. And encounters are dealt, I believe, Nathaniel's are loot, correct? Uh, I can choose at the beginning or in between each round, but yeah, Nathaniel's are lead. So Swarm of Rats, beautiful, love it. And Cursed Luck. Not so beautiful, but Rex is generally cursed, so that's fine. Uh, I think this works out pretty well, in fact. And it's going to take a while for the Clover Clip Pit Boss to catch up to anything else that we're doing. If we decide to go gambling in the card room, is that going to be our best option? I really like it. We've got Burning Midnight Oil. Okay, so I burned the Midnight Oil, and then I did not spend three on Disco of Salt. No, that's why I've got too much money. Okay, cool. Got to remember to pay for things when we play them. Otherwise, the game save gets all screwed up, and then we get flustered, and then we inflict trauma on our characters. <laughs> all right. Uh, so regardless, that leads us into the investigation phase. Uh, Nathaniel, hi. So a uh, clean metal gets you resources, so pretty easy way to get some resources here if you want to. You're currently five against, so I mean, it's fine. You want to do it? Sure. Yeah, we'll clean them out. Gain two resources. Punch a rat, five against one. Uh, punch a rat, five against one. Wow, that was a tough rat. Okay, and then spend a resource, and then we get the two clues from the token pool. One times number of the investigators. Yeah, so resource, and then pull the clues, and get the clues. Good times. One. Nathaniel's got him. Good job, Nate. You're an investigator now. Also, Rex, we need to move your clues onto your location so we know that you've got them. Cool. Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, so that's Nathaniel's turn. Punch a rat. Punch a rat. Tip. Okay, so Rex, one. Rex, two. So you approach the card room, the clinking of poker chips, and the shuffling of cards is punctuated by shouts of revelry and frustration. Your thoughts are nearly drowned out by the racket. Okay, spend two resources, reveal a random chaos token. It's an even number, get two clues. If it's an odd number, a symbol, nothing happens, and otherwise you get some good bonuses. I think it's generally correct to gamble here, and also we have curse luck at the moment, so why not? Uh, gambling. Ready, set, go. Oop. Nothing happens. And I believe that's it. Yeah, can't do any more? Nope, yeah, can't do any more. 
Uh, wait, we can do one more thing. Forbidden knowledge, take a horror, get a resource, because we're probably going to need those, right? All right, uh, cool. That's all good. Mythos. We're in enemy phase. Pit boss moves towards lounge. Going to get towards the card room in a second. Uh, upkeep, resource and a card. Yes, resource and a card. Yes. Cool. Uh, Mythos phase. Doom to two. And encounter cards. Nathaniel. Swarm of rats. Nice. Curse select number two for Rex. That's a little unfortunate, but we'll probably play a flashlight or something. Okay. Uh, that leads us to investigator phase. We got a gamble again. No. Again, I should have spent the resources. Five minus... Yeah. Did we spend the resources? We went up to six, and then we spent two, and then we would have been down to five. Is that correct? Wow. Oh, yeah, and then we've forbidden knowledge. Okay. No, we've, we've been paying for things. We've been doing the things we're supposed to. All right, so gamble. Uh, oop. Negative two succeeds. Get two clues. Whoop. Uh, gamble again. Negative three fails. Correct. Take a horror. Get a resource. Gamble again. Skull fails. Nothing happens. Okay. I'm going to spend a lot of money on this one, but I'm honestly perfectly okay with that. Nathaniel. Okay, there's two resources on that. I don't think it matters. Uh, Nathaniel, you've got a swarm of rats on you. So, action one, fight time. Negative four succeeds. Discard rats. Action two, move to the bar. Spend two resources, gain two clues, and draw two cards. Remember, you've had a drink. So that's bad for the fighter, but it would get us to advance the act. Which means we get early access to the back room. And we wouldn't have to gamble anymore. Just one person taking a drink doesn't hurt that bad. Also, the Clover Club boss is going to come down to the card room, so yeah, this is this is correct to do at this point. Since we failed all of our gambling attempts, we have to spend the two resources to draw two cards, have ourselves a drink at the bar. Man, really not getting anything. And uh, that'll be that for everything. We get the other two clues, and then we'll spend them all to advance. So, six, flip the act. After speaking to a number of gamblers and servers, it seems as though Dr. Morgan has had quite the run lately. Instead of cashing out his winnings, he was convinced to double down. It's last seen in a guarded hall near the back of the card room. Uh, so he put the darkened hall into play, spawn a criminal, and put it in the darkened hall. Okay, if you can find him, you're going to have to sneak or even fight your way in. Only investigators in the VIP area can spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Okay, darkened hall. Those are not the darkened halls. Those are not the darkened halls. That's the darkened hall. Here we go. All right, Nathaniel's last move is probably to play Brother Xavier since we want to not run out of cards here. So Brother Xavier for five. Also makes it so that we don't have any more resources, which I think is a good play here. What else did we spend our resources on? Oh yeah, we spent four. We spent four so far, the drinks and the tips. So all good. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, fairly testless. This is a really easy scenario, I think. It's a good one to get some initial XP on, once you actually kind of understand how it works. Um, the pit boss is obviously going to be something that Nathaniel will be dealing with very shortly, but uh, we'll keep that in mind in a second. Uh, okay, so that's investigation phase. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Club Club pit boss moves on to Rex. Hi, Rex. Uh, hmm. Upkeep. Resource in the cart. 
resource in a card. Ooh, Dr. Milan Christopher, love it. Creep Wagner, also love it. That's an additional fight for us if we can get some resources going, which we can't at the moment, but hey, who knows? Maybe we'll figure it out. Oh, we've got emergency cash, so we can just cash candle resource greed if we want to or something like that. A little bit of a mess, but could be okay. All right, uh, that's upkeep. Yep, so Mythos. Doom goes to three. Encounters are dealt. Twist of Fate, reveal a random token. Hunted down. Pushes the pit boss. Oh, actually, it pushes the criminal that we just. Uh, ooh, that's actually really good for us. I always forget that we have to spawn that criminal. Really haven't spawned one yet, have we? Obanion's Thug should be spawned here. Uh, technically, if we had to like roll it back because we spawned Obanion's Thug, eh, I, I don't think that really works, and the randomization is the same either way. So, Obanion's Thug moves on to this location, which, yuck. But he doesn't engage us because he's still aloof. Isn't that great? All right. Um, so, random chaos token. Negative five. Takes a damage. Put it on Brother Xavier. Cool. All right. Investigation phase. Pretty straightforward so far. Rex into the darkened hall. Put and set us play the three set aside back doorway locations. Not quite those. These ones. Back all doorway. Okay. This is a shuffled set of three. Okay, and... Cool, that's action one. Action two. Fail a skill test while investigating the art gallery, you lose two resources. But it's a skill value of two for two clues, which is ridiculous. Uh, okay, so six against two, four against two, interesting. I really need resources here. Forbidden knowledge for sure. Horror for one more. I think for our last action we play a flashlight here. Since we really need to like get rid of cursed luck. I could try two against two. No, I wouldn't succeed by much, so... Flashlight sounds correct, yeah. I really like Milan Christopher here, too, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. We'll see. Okay, uh, that's Rex's turn. Nathaniel, you've got a simpler job. Your job is to get to the darkened hall and be ready to, like, punch this goobus here. Yep. Move, move. And emergency cash. I could even move one more. But then I'd be in the art gallery. Ooh, wait, I could move one more and be ready for a get over here, which I think would be great. Get over here, vicious blow. That's quite a bit. And then we just punch the clover clip pit boss down. I like that. So three, go to the back hall doorway. Uh, okay, it's the back alley, which is another place we can clear, but not one that we're going to need. Regardless, that's the end of the investigation phase. Enemy phase, pit boss moves over here. Upkeep, resource and a card. Resource and a card. Beat cop, nice. Search for the truth, also nice. Uh, Rex doesn't have any clues right now, but we're going to have quite a few shortly. So that'll work fine. All right. Um, emergency cash, get over here, then attack, I think, is correct. OK, mythos phase. Whoa. I like this angle, very good. OK. And Doom goes up to four. Agenda advances. Your questioning has drawn the attention of several men, hired thugs by the look of them. Francis doesn't want to be bothered, one of them says. We suggest you leave the premises before we force you to leave. All right, so we advance directly to Agenda 2B. If the house always wins the first scenario in the campaign, advance to Agenda 2A. Agenda 2B. Uh, no, that's Act 2B. Agenda 2B. You hear a crash from somewhere outside and screams of pain in the lounge. A terrible monstrosity smashes through the entrance of the club, crushing the stairwell and knocking over gangsters and patrons alike. 
Spot a random enemy from the hit set aside hideous abominations in the Clover Club Lounge. Shuffle the rest of that encounter set, the set aside striking fear, and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Move all investigators and unengaged enemies from Labella Luna to the Clover Club Lounge. Remove Labella Luna from the game. Goodbye, Labella Luna. Hello, hideous abomination. It's always the conglomeration. And shuffle all of this nonsense. That's not technically the encounter discard pile. <laughs> all right, uh, that leads us to zero doom. I really got to change this configuration here. Cool. And then encounters. Swarm of rats. Annoying. All right. Uh, what do you got? Curse select like number three. All right, well, you just got to succeed by one, so it's not the end of the world, but, I mean, it is kind of good to cla get them all on top of us like that. It's just very silly. Um, do we just throw Search for the Truth at this? Probably. Okay, that's Mythos phase. Investigation phase. Rex. Magnifying glass. Fast speed. For sure. Uh, uh, okay, so that's five while investigating, notably. Uh, this is a shroud value of two, so we're going to flashlight investigate. So that's, uh, two against zero. Do we search for the truth here? Cards is really nice, but I think clues is better. Five against zero. Zero succeeds, discard curse luck, discard curse luck, discard curse luck. And we succeed by... Three, so we get both clues on this location. Now it was action one, notably. Um, annoyingly, now I really do want to search for the truth, because I can't step out into the hall without fighting the Clover Club pit boss, which I'd rather not do. If I go into the hall right now, Nathaniel can still get the Clover Club Pit Bus off of me, as long as nothing goes wrong. What are your what's your fight right now? Five Nathaniel against three? It's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. We got some question marks that we don't really care about that much. Uh yeah, let's gain a resource. Walk into the hall. Gets this on us. Not a big deal. Wait, are you elite? I lied. I don't want to do that. I can't get over here on you. Um, hmm. Yeah, and the rats make this much more difficult, don't they? One plus one plus one plus one. Okay, this still isn't the end of the world, though. Uh, Nathaniel. First action, fight the rats, five against one. Negative two succeeds, kill a rat. And evidence. Discover a clue at our location. The rats were hiding some clues. Um, okay. Action two, step into the darkened hall. That engages the Clover Club bit boss. Hi, hi. You're my new friend. Welcome, welcome. Action three, Monster Slayer. Fighting five against three, six against three, uh, seven against three. Honestly, eight against three. Eight against three. And this is for plus one, plus one, plus one from Nathaniel. So two. Three, four damage, if I can succeed. Zero succeeds. Goodbye, Clover Club Pit Boss. Welcome to the victory display. All right. Uh, that was action one, two, and three for Nathaniel. Rex is standing where he's at, doing his thing. So we are all good. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Enemy phase. Conglomeration moves over here. Start of the enemy phase, we discard the criminals, so this criminal is still around. 
and can conceivably like escape if something weird happens, but upkeep, resource in a card. Survival instinct, cool. Resource in a card. Get over here, cool. Okay, getting pretty close to actually getting Molon Christopher down, which isn't going to matter for this one, but could be okay. Uh, Nathaniel's got some ways to deal damage, but mostly wants to like emergency cash and play greet. Vicious blow, leadership, teamwork, and monster slayer are all on the discard pile, so make sure we clean those up. Anything else in the discard pile? Yep, we're all good. Uh, okay. Don't forget our will is four. Mythos phase. Doom goes to one. Encounters. Servant of the Lurker spawns on Nathaniel. Nice. That's actually exactly what we want. Prey is the lowest speed, but it doesn't spawn, so it's totally fine. When it attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. That's more annoying, but actually not bad for us here because we can just kill it. Um, notably, Nathaniel doesn't have like great fight against it at the moment, which is pretty annoying. Like We'd much rather have like a beat cop here, but... It's not the end of the world, I guess. Okay, and then Rex, you get... No, that's not what you get. You get a conglomerate. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, it's got Hunter. We'll automatically evade it? Or do we want to just fight it? Two against two a bunch? We could like deal two damage to it and then just start messing with it. I think it's much better evaded. That seems like... Seems like we're going to get in trouble otherwise. Hmm. So I could evade Servant of the Lurker and then give Nathaniel some time. Move, engage, evade, hop to the back hall doorway. And then basically we have like a little bit of extra time for Nathaniel to do like get over here and stuff that he needs to do. Like emergency cash, greet Wagner or beat cop. Go kill this Lurker. What's he got? Five health? Yeah, we're not super happy about him. Choose a non-elite enemy, and I'm sure the Servant is elite. Nope, Servant's not elite. Okay. Uh, so if I move, engage, and evade, I'm evading four against two. That's pretty good, actually. It's got a decent chance of success, but on a fail, we lose resources. I think I'm okay with that. Move to the Darkened Hall. Engage the Serpent of the Lurker. And this better not go wrong. Evade with Survival Instinct. That's four against two. Negative two succeeds. Took a bit of a risk there, but now we get to jump to the VIP area. While you're in the VIP area, you cannot draw cards or gain resources during the upkeep phase. That's annoying, to be sure, but... Uh, that's fine. I think we actually used all of Rex's turn to do that, so that's rough, but it's fine. Nathaniel, move to the VIP area as well. Emergency cash to gain three resources, and I think we play Beat Cop rather than Greet Wagner here. Second ally feels good. Brother Xavier also deals damage, which is sweet. Okay. And that leads us to encounters, yes? Encounters it is. Uh, wait, no, sorry, that leads us to the end of the investigation phase. Enemy phase. Servant readies. Conglomeration 1 walks into the darkened hall. I don't really like how that's going, actually. Conglomeration 2 readies. All three of the abominations. I did shuffle that, right? Yeah, I definitely did. Okay. Well, that's rough, but here we go. Uh, Nathaniel encounters. No, wait, upkeep. Uh, can't draw cards to gain resources, so we're just kind of stuck in here at the moment. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, encounters. Freaking swarm of rats! And a mobster. Oh, man, that's... Ugh. That's no good, bud. That doesn't work at all. I don't like that. 
I don't have the disc either because I just used it to evade something. All right, Nate, um, what are we doing? You just played Beat Cups. So you've only got one resource right now. I think you're just fighting 5-5-5, five, 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 right? Just kill all these enemies and then deal with the consequences of the rest later. All right, fight the rats, five against one. So negative three succeeds. Fight the mobster, five against two. Negative one succeeds, fight the mobster, five against two. Negative three succeeds. Goodbye, monster. Rex, you're free to go. Um, pretty simple turn for you. Flashlight, investigate. Uh, currently four, five against one. Auto fail. Flashlight investigate, five against one. Cultist is a negative three. Succeed by one, we get one clue. And then last action. Spend four clues to advance. Uh, okay, the VIP rooms are filled with the mangled and bloody bodies of unfortunate patrons. There doesn't appear to be any trace of Dr. Morgan. We were screaming in gunfire from the main area of the club. So aside. Peter Clover into play in the Clover Club bar. Search the encounter deck or out of play for an abomination enemy. Spawn it in the Clover Club bar. Advanced Act 3A, fold. With or without Dr. Morgan? Oh wait, fold. Free drinks forever gets me the hell out of here, a man exclaims from the bar. When Peter Clover is not controlled by a player, he gains parlay test three will to convince Peter to follow you. If you succeed, place a clue from the token bank on him. There are one times the number of investigator clues on Peter Clover. Take control of him. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. Okay. So we need to get out of here, but yeah. So that was all of our actions. Now we go to the enemy phase. Ah, okay, investigation enemy. Yep, good. Bad things happen. Conglomeration of spears appears and attacks us. I think we're going to put it both on... I'm going to put one on Beat Cup, one on Brother Xavier. Servant the Lurker also moves in and attacks us. I will put all of that damage on Brother Xavier and discard the top two cards of my deck. I could have Servant engage Rex so that Rex could do like another evade trick. He's got slightly higher evade so we could avoid the uh, Servant while punching other things. Conglomeration is a problem though because it's just like constantly doing bad things to us. Rex really needs to be doing investigation at the moment so... What is my current investigation? It's five against three. It's not great, but it'll do. Okay. Um, so Brother Xavier died, so that means we put two damage on Servant, which was the central thing that I needed to do right now. Fighting six against four now, which is helpful. But I also don't have resources, which is less helpful. All right. Uh, upkeep. Neither of us draw cards or gain resources. That is really a problem. Mythos. Doom goes to two. Encounters are dealt. Please, no more enemies, please. Twist of Fate. It's a skull, so we take two horror. I put one of that on Beat Cop. Mobster. Boo. Such a pain. Yeah, we're just buried in enemies right now. All right. Uh, I think we have to start by doing straight evades from Rex, because Rex needs to like get this clue and get out of here. Uh, Rex is three against two. Skull... Oh, I don't have three resources. I would absolutely pay it, though. No icons I can commit to this, either. Rex is three against two. Skull! Skull! 
Rex is five against three to investigate. I think we investigate and take a damage here. Negative two succeeds. Grab that last clue. We can get out of this particular area now, but uh, I do take a damage and lose a resource, which really sucks. Nathaniel, high. Six against four against the Servant of the Lurker. Let's bop it. Skull is a minus three, succeeds, steals a damage. Six against four against the Servant of the Lurker. Skull is a minus three, succeeds, steal a damage. Do we discard Beat Cup and just drag the conglomeration out so we can get some resources? Take a damage and a horror, take a damage and a horror. And I'm fighting five against one at that point. Also, there's a second conglomeration, and I think they're here now. They're in the darkened hall. All right, six against four against the Servant of the Lurker. Kill it. Let's end the victory display. Goodbye, Servant. No, this lack of upkeep is really hurting us, though. Okay, um, enemy phase. Conglomeration deals one and one. Rex takes a damage and loses a resource. This conglomeration moves in. It also deals one and one. We're in some trouble. Like, I can't get away from the conglomerations, and they are just... Not only are they stuck to me like glue, but they're just dealing so much damage that I can't, like, effectively fight them anymore. Uh, upkeep, I can't draw resources or gain cards, so... <sighs> Maybe I went into the VIP room too early. Maybe I have too many people in the VIP room. I think I should have been fighting in the darkened halls. I think we've learned a few lessons about the VIP room and how dangerous it is. Uh, Peter Clover, <laughs> I never spawned you. I'm sorry. Let's let's deal with you. What's going on with you, Peter? You're here, and you're supposed to spawn in the bar, and we can't... We do search the entire encounter deck for an abomination, but there aren't any abominations left. So we're good there. Uh, I can leave without Peter, and if I do, then we escape. But in order to do that, I have to somehow unstick these conglomerations from me, and that's not currently happening, right? How do we do this? Upkeep, nothing happens. Mythos phase, Doom goes to three. Encounters are dealt. Caught cheating. Anyone who's cheated takes two resources. Okay. Twist of fate. Random chaos token. So bless. Nothing happens. Rousing suspicion. Place a doom on each criminal at our location. So it's just a doom on this guy, the monster. Which, to be fair... Okay, so what's going on with Peter? He's at the Clover Club bar. No investigator controls him, deal a damage to him at the start of the enemy phase. So he's already taken one damage. You can exhaust him to automatically evade criminals at your location. And we have to get to him and test Will. By some twist of luck, did the Obanion's thug never die? No, it got eaten by a conglomeration of spears. It should be in the discard pile. Um... Because, yeah, one of them moved into the darkened hall through normal means. So here's the problem. I have to kill this mobster, and I have to get Nathaniel out of this area. But I can't do both. Like, Nathaniel can't evade these guys. They're just stuck to him. I think first things first, we just have to try to evade the mobster. Three against two again. Skull, no resources. Three against two again. Zero succeeds, mobster's gone. And now Rex can like move into the darkened hall and get away from the mobster, but then the mobster jumps on Nathaniel, which leaves Nathaniel pretty much for dead. Nathaniel, if I move you into the darkened hall, it's not gonna help you. If I draw cards, that's not gonna help you. If I evade, you're still 
not in any shape to fight these conglomerations. The most I can do is I can test six against one three times, and then I'm just like, I'm in too much trouble otherwise, right? Okay, three against one three times, conglomeration. Negative four succeeds. Six against one three times. Negative one succeeds. Negative five succeeds. Three damage on the conglomeration. Would that I could do more to you, but that is actually my limit. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's it. Investigation, enemy phase. Uh, these two attack. One, two, one, two. I think I do survive uh, the mobster readies and jumps on me. Nathaniel's actually doing okay. He can soak this and kill the conglomeration, and then he can soak it a little bit more. It's just going to take even more damage and even more horror, and it's going to suck. Upkeep. Rex draws a card and gains a resource. Isn't that nice? Ooh, I've got a plan. Gain two, move in. No, I think what we're doing is we're going for the will test, yeah? Three, four. Like, if we get Peter Clover out of here, that's a definite win. Let's check to see what the encounters are first. Mythos. Doom goes to four. Got three turns to get out of here, I'm pretty sure. Encounters. Hunted down. Uh, no criminals engage me. So this gains search. Dang. Wait. Criminal enemies. Humanoid criminal, not an enemy. Okay. Surges. Curse luck. Well, that doesn't help, but I think Nathaniel can succeed. That's not. That's no problem. Okay. Something in the drinks, we're fine. Something in the drinks, we're fine. Arousing suspicions, lose two resources. Oh, I forgot, there's a doom on this mobster, so we actually have less turns unless we kill the mobster. But I think we'll be okay, right? Should be fine. Okay, uh, that's Mythos. Now we go to investigation phase. Nathaniel, a uh, big test for you. You've got a Five against one. <laughs> Four succeeds, but not by one. You got another five against one. Zero succeeds by more than one, so curse luck is discarded. And then last but not least, you have a six against one. Skull succeeds, conglomeration is discarded. Good job, Nathaniel. Rex. Move, move. Peter Clover. Uh, this is a will test, and you're not great at these, so we're going to make it four against three, but that's the best I can do for this. Peter's already got two damage on him, right? This is our one and only shot at this. That's Nathaniel's stuff. I can't contribute that, so. Yeah, four against three. All we got. Guess for luck, huh? Something, I don't know. Oh. Nailed it. Okay. Um, that's three actions and three actions. Enemy phase. Conglomeration one and one to the beat cop. I think it might deal one to the... It might deal an one to the beat cop and then one over to Nathaniel, I think. Nathaniel loses resources, the mobster attacks him. But that is, that is the mobster done. Uh, I think Nathaniel's still dead here, right? I, I don't think I can save him. I've got a plan would help if we had the resources and the clues. That was the other potential option, but I think we just get buried in enemies there since we're all stuck in the VIP lounge. So I, I think Nathaniel's just doing his job and accumulating like as much damage on himself as possible. Uh, he actually wants to attack the mobster first because the mobster's got doom on it, and if he can kill that, then... If he can even get retaliated on, it's good for him, because he can then take physical trauma instead of mental trauma if he gets retaliated on a bunch. I don't think that happens, but it's notable. Upkeep. Uh, resource and a card for Rex. Dark Horse. Okay, that's a uh, will, but doesn't matter now. Peter's not uncontrolled anymore, he's just got two damage on him. Mythos. Doom goes to 5-6. Encounters. 
Twist of Fate. Ooh, this could be bad. We need any other number. We need to take damage, not horror. Zero is not a positive number, so we take one damage. That was a good Twist of Fate for us, because now if we attack the monster and fail, we die to physical trauma, which is what we want. <laughs> uh, Rex. Mobster. One, two, three. I have to evade it. Oh, I exhaust Peter Clover. Uh, right now. <laughs> Good job, Peter Clover. I was very con concerned. Investigator phase. Rex, one, two, three. To the back hall doorway. We can even investigate there for a victory point. Uh, Nathaniel. Punch five against the mobster. Negative two succeeds. Punch five against the mobster. Negative two succeeds. Mobster's dead. The doom goes with him. Uh, can you evade against the... It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, no. Uh, I think you're just... Uh, at this point, you're punching against the conglomeration of spears. Negative three. You're going to take a mental trauma here, which sucks, but we do put a damage on the conglomeration. Good job. Okay, uh, that ends the investigation phase. Enemy phase. Nathaniel dies to mental trauma. Upkeep. Resource and a card for Rex. That's not how we do that, but gain a resource anyways. Painkillers. Neat. Um, Mythos. Doom goes to six. Encounters. Swarm of Rats on Rex, that's not a huge deal. Yeah, it's not a huge deal for any means. Uh, okay, and then investigation phase. Rex, hi. Your current investigation is five, six, against one, and you take an attack of opportunity. Negative two succeeds, grab that clue. Resign. That was crazy. That was a... I would say that is a scenario where we did not make very many mistakes. Went pretty fast. All the testless damage that we did was correct. The main error that I made was the strategic error of going in the VIP room as Nathaniel. Um, I should have stayed out of the VIP room because Nathaniel needs resources to fight monsters and actually do the things that he wants to do. But we killed every victory point enemy. We got every victory point location. And we got Rex out alive with Peter Clover, which is a total victory, apart from the fact that one of our investigators was defeated and suffers what is generally not good, a mental trauma. Um, still, that was a strong showing. I think, uh, I think I do like House Always Wins as first, but this is a pretty interesting second campaign as well, since uh, it is somewhat deterministic how well you can go into like these particular areas. If you want a deterministic option, like hitting the Clover Clip Lounge and the Clover Clip Stage means that you can use the Clover Clip Bar to get enough resources to never have to gamble, and therefore to never have to cheat at gambling. Um, but I think overall, like it's just actually it's almost trivially 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 easy to get enough clues from the Clover Cup card room as long as you aren't spending a lot of resources. And you don't really need those resources if you move fast enough to not engage a bunch of enemies early on. So taking this as a first scenario might just be a guaranteed five experience on hard because you don't have to make all of those really, really rough skill tests. You aren't going to have bad tokens in your deck and you're pretty likely to get a investigator that benefits you. On the other hand, now I think I've got the mob on my side. Let's see what happens. All right, uh, so. Make your way towards the rain-slicked streets of Arkham. An investigator resigned with Peter Clover under his control. Resolution 3. Although you were unable to find Dr. Morgan in this club, the man you rescued is grateful for your help. He introduces himself as Peter Clover, the owner of the establishment you just left. Despite the situation, he maintains an air of quiet professionalism. As you make your way towards the street, a well-polished Chrysler B70 rolls up towards you and a gorgeous woman with long brown hair and narrow eyes exits. She's flanked by dangerous-looking men who slip their hands under their suit jackets when they see you. Peter, she says with a sigh of relief. Good, you're okay. I heard there was trouble. She turns and glares with you with, de you with deadly eyes. Who are they? Mr. Clover dusts off his vest, unworried. Naomi, my dear, these are friends of mine. They, 
he clears his throat. They escorted me off the premises, he explains after a short pause. They have earned our gratitude. The woman crosses her arm and takes a moment to size you up before giving you a smirk. Oh, very well, then. I must thank you for taking care of Peter. Run along now. We'll handle things from here. She nods to the goons flanking her, and they walk past you towards the club's rear entrance, pulling firearms out from underneath their coats. You're not sure what handling things means, but you're pretty sure you don't want to be here when the gunfire starts. You thank Naomi and Peter, and head off. I record that Naomi has the investigators' backs, record that Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped, if any player cheated at the bad chaos, earn experience equal to the victory x value, which is five total experience, correct? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five experience to spend. And we proceed to interlude one, Armitage's fate. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk, pale-faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains. I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale that you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, record the investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add Dr. Henry Armitage to his or her deck. The card does not count towards that investigator's deck size. It can be found in the Armitage's Fate Encounter set, indicated by this icon. The story continues in Scenario 2, the Miskatonic Museum. So, new ally, uh, Armitage himself, joins us. There are two routes for this. One is that we take a 2-cost 2-2 two, two soaker, and we just put him on Nathaniel, who's already got charisma and is happy to take more allies. The main notes about this is that we then get to turn option any card into a testless emergency cache, which is or a, an actionless emergency catch, which gives Nathaniel a lot of time to fight and a lot of ways to like actually fight with uh, other things. The main disadvantage to this is that, of course, we do not um, get access to some of our other fighters who boost our stats. And boosted stats is also important for various things. I think that Armitage is better in Nathaniel's deck, though. Um, while it is true that Rex occasionally needs resources, I think he mostly gets them off of Milan Christopher. And uh, beyond that, he's also got Forbidden Knowledge, which... Uh, didn't really hurt him this game at all. Uh, I did forget that I could use it to gain the resources necessary to maybe use I've Got a Plan, which uh, could have potentially helped Nathaniel, but I think would have been a little too slow and would have prevented us from getting Peter Clover and meant that the mobsters did not have our back. Uh, the mobsters not having our back is actually, I think, a problem. I feel like if you've got a bone to pick with the mobsters, things are bad, but... Those are the three things, I believe. Double check. Okay, so we got everything, we didn't have any bad resolutions, we didn't get knocked unconscious, and we're solid and good to go. Uh, with that, we're going to jump into the upgrades, but I think we'll probably do that mm, start of the next round, not sure. It's been a, been a solid, solid run. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you are interested in more uh, video content, we have our main uh, current YouTube channel, Luca Pojo, that is... Uh, uh, always like eternal and other card game related stuff um, i've also got a twitch channel twitch tv slash Kabojo, where we are not currently streaming arkham but if we get enough attention for this we might um beyond that i think uh that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time